Hello everybody and welcome to the newest episode of Jody Jean's Kitchen. And with me here today I have a very special guest star, Robert Iupa. And he is going to be my sous chef today while I make a keto friendly two ounce meatball wrapped in zucchini with ricotta cheese and tomato sauce. So it ought to be spectacular. <laughs> yes. First thing we're going to start off with is I'm going to give you a little background about Robert and myself. Robert has been coming in the restaurant since 2001. Is that correct? That's when we moved here. And, we, yeah. and pr it probably uh, took us a year to find you. Right. And then he's also uh, been really good friends with us since 2012. He does our golf tournaments and he's a super chef around town and does all kinds of things for charity and the early in and all kinds of things, right? Yes. Yes, for sure. So we're going to start it off with a toast to Ippy's Restaurant. We are on our 100th year this year, starting on Franklin Road with Uncle Tom in 1919. And as we do at the golf tournament, we always have a toast beforehand. So we won't be making any special cocktails today, but we will be drinking. To Ippies. Yeah, God bless the Ippies and everybody that's watching today. Yes, thank you so much. That ought to get going good. <laughs> yes. All, right. <laughs> All right, so why don't you, since you're going to be my sous chef this episode, why don't you break down this onion and the garlic, and I'm going to tell them a little bit about what I've done so far. Fine. All right. So I have taken 93% lean ground beef, and we have put... Parmesan cheese, mozzarella cheese, and mixed cheese in here. We've baked it off in the oven. I haven't really put a whole lot of salt or anything in it because we're going to have salt in the tomato sauce. And we're also going to have salt. Uh, I salted the zucchini, and I'll tell you a little bit about that in just one second. So Robert has made these out into two-ounce balls. We're going to let them cool for just a moment. And then we're going to go ahead and mix this all together. Uh, I, I'm just starting with a jar sauce because we want this to be easy, family friendly, something that you can put together when you're done working for the day. And you can go ahead and make up the meatballs ahead of time if you want to, but it really didn't take, what, five minutes for you to put that together? Yes, ma'am. Right. Five minutes. Good. And, and nice hands. Yes. And he's, he's got it down. <laughs> All right. So this is the ricotta. And in this, we're going to put um, fresh cracked pepper. I'm actually going to put some red pepper flakes because we want it to have a little bit of kick to it. And we're going to have a little bit of this left over, and I'm going to show you what to do with that, too. We're going to put some salt. And actually, let's use our new our new sea salt Himalayan sea salt grinder. Did you see my new gadget? Nice. Yes. And my wife just bought some Himalayan sea salt. Oh, we haven't it's used it wonderful. Yet. It's not quite as salty as, as um, just regular salt, but it's very, very good. And you're almost done with that, so I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. And what we're going to do is we are going to saute an onion, well, a third of an onion. And I'm going to use in purple today because that's what I have on hand. Does that look like enough, or you want a little That's more? That's perfect. Than perfect. Yes. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and dump that in. Let okay. it get started. Do that. And like I said, this is just this is actually a low sugar tomato sauce, and it only has nine carbs per uh, fourth of a cup. So that's a bonus in the in the keto thing. But I promise you, when you make this for your family, they won't even know that you are. This is in your meal plan. They will think it is something entirely different. All right, so got that cooking in our super, super oven stove. All right, and the ricotta has the red pepper flakes, the fresh ground pepper. Put a little bit more pepper in there. You had to give me some green garlic, didn't you? My bad. <laughs> You're all right. We see this is the, this is what we show them how to do on the cooking show. We make do with what we have because you don't always have time to run out to the store and everything, right? Right. All right. So ricotta. Now, on another note, this is going to be wrapped in zucchini. And if you watch the other episodes about zucchini, it is very watery. 
So what I have done is I have salted it with regular salt and put paper towels in between it to soak up some of the water. Because when we assemble this in the pan, we're gonna make like a little basket and wrap the meatballs in with it. That should be perfect. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. You're such a good sous chef. <laughs> I know how to say yes, ma'am. <laughs> Thank you. All right, and we're just gonna cook this down for a minute. I'm gonna go over here and do my... Yep, yeah. and Robert's gonna show you a little trick here. We've baked the meatballs. And yeah. then you're going to show them what to do yeah, with those. We bake the meatballs, and a lot of times, uh, oh, what, whether you're Still going more. into sauce or a recipe like this, you want to make sure you get all the grease off. So I just take a tablespoon like this, and you see how nice it's coming off, and then just hit that, hit the pan. So we're taking all the grease off it. I almost dropped the ball. Don't we, do that. But we saved it. Yeah. I got good hands. Especially when it comes to these beautiful, what do you call these now? They're not meatballs. Well, no, I'm not really sure. We're just going to call them keto-friendly balls. Let's do that. Keto-friendly yeah. balls. So I'm going to heat up the sauce with the onions with the, and the garlic because we want it to be a little warm. Because we pre-cooked off the meatballs and we don't want this, we don't want them to be dry and overcooked. And can I say something else of about course. these? Yes. You see we have parchment paper and aluminum foil. And you might say, well, gee, that's a lot of extra work, but guess what? It saves a lot of cleaning. <laughs> so, See, you have been watching my episodes. Yes. I'm all about foil, spray, part. Well, I don't use parchment paper as much as I should then. So actually, when I finish this, we're just going to fold uh, the parchment paper and the foil together. And we'll have a clean pan. You still can rinse it off, obviously. But no muss, no fuss. Yes. Okay. And those... And remember, the only the only thing we put on the balls, I actually put a couple eggs in there, but there's no breading whatsoever. Right. And I will show you, the recipe will be the full recipe on what we put in there because we had to do a little bit, just a little bit of prep before that when we were doing this. So while she's mixing that, you can see how easy this is right here. And this will go right into our garbage. Awesome. And we're all set. With all that. Right. And I'll wait for my next command from <laughs> the magic well, we chef wanna, over here. Yeah, we, we want to taste the sauce. Okay. Because we are using, you know, because this is, I think they just came out with this, and this stove is hot. They just came out with the low sugar. And I'm, I'm not really sure so, what, what it is. So what, where did you get this? What is um, it? What is you the just sauce? just get any kind of, I'm not going to do any um, se uh, selling for any brands, but okay. go ahead and taste that. And what do you what are you looking for in the taste? You're looking for it needs to have a lot of body uh, okay. because it's got to it's got to take all of that zucchini and the ricotta and the, of course the meatball is going to have flavor. Okay, you can tell by the way it's sitting on the spoon it has body already. Mm -hmm. It's really it's actually really good. Very good. Yeah, I think we need some red pepper flakes in there. Okay. What do you think? Just a little bit a little bit more spice. A little kick. Yep. I think that'd be nice. And again, when you're using red pepper flakes, you want to, whoever you're cooking for, if you know your family loves a kick, you can use a little bit more. But if you're an entertaining guest and you're not sure what they like, I go on the low side. Right. It, well, and plus, they say that spicy foods increase your metabolism and everything. So I tend to eat a lot more spicy foods, and I'll probably like top mine with some jalapenos and something like that. Yeah. You know, because I'm on the... The keto journey. The keto yeah. journey. <laughs> yeah, the keto journey that everybody's yeah. with me on. All right, so we are going to go over here and start assembling these. Can I help you on that? Oh, yes, you can. Shall I come over on the other yeah. side of you? Yes, please. Okay. All right, so like I said, I have cut these on a mandolin, and they're in like mm, quarter inch. Quarter inch. Quarter inch. Mm-hmm. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to put this down, and then we're going to put a spoonful of this in it, like that. Okay. And then we're going to set the ball in it, like that. Right. And then we're going to make it go around it just enough to where you can set it in the corner. I got it. Like that. 
and hopefully it'll stay and if it doesn't it's not a big deal right just like that okay and we might have to do a little bending that one's an end piece so it's a little bit harder can I do that for you while yes. you're talking to yes, your guests? Yes, definitely. Like bend it like that. Okay. Okay. Yes, ma'am. All right, and then I think that'll be enough, don't you? Just yes. put a big dollop on there and make it wrap around yeah. it and stuff. Okay. Let me let me just see how I do. And she said, to maybe put some on the top. Put some along the top. Yeah, to help hold it. Okay. Let's see what happens. Because it's all an experiment. I, I did the whole Jody trick thing where I went to the the store. And said, okay, this is what we're cooking on the cooking show. And we can squeeze them in so yeah. they hold each other like that. Okay? Oh, yeah, that's going to be great. Okay. Awesome. All right, so you continue talking and I'll do this. Okay. All right, so after, let's talk about the meat a little bit. Okay. All right, and then we'll um, go on to, we'll put those in the oven and we'll get to the salad. So with this, I'm going to serve kind of a little Mediterranean not a really soft soup because it has bitigal in it and that of course is carbs but we're gonna do like a parsley fresh cut green salad and we're just gonna make up a vinaigrette really fast like we did before but um in the meat i have put spicy italian sausage i have put 93 percent lean meat that we spoke about before if you don't want the spicy in there you may definitely just eliminate it all together or you could use lamb if you wanted you want to put that over here yeah i'm gonna, I'm gonna Put this right here. Okay. I'm going to work on this board awesome. a little bit. All right. Put this like this. All right. So we are going to finish rolling up our meatballs and pop them in the oven and get set up for <coughs> the salad that we're going to make. And then we'll be back in just a few minutes to finish it all off for you. So we'll see you in a few. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Rob, manager at Quickly. I want to take a second and talk about your car. We've all been caught up in the hustle and bustle of everyday life. You don't have time to spend hours at a shop for a simple oil change and tire rotation. Here at Quickly, we change your oil, not your schedule. We operate on a first come, first serve basis, so no appointment necessary. We also repair those squeaky brakes, put you some tires on, and do an alignment all in one shop. Serving you with two locations, 700 Liberty Street in Martinsville and 6518 Greensboro Road in Ridgeway. Hi, right, so we're good. Right, here we go. Three, two, one. Hi, I'm Robbie, manager at Quick Loop. I want to take a sec. Take a sec. Okay, well, here God we go. bless. Oh. Are you looking for great food and entertainment? Ippy's Restaurant is the place to be. We have been serving local communities since 1919. With made from scratch entrees and specialty dishes like our famous oyster Rockefeller, smoked prime rib, and hand carved filet mignon. We have a great selection of menu items that are all made to order for your everyday dining or special occasions. We also offer private rooms, catering services, and have a wonderful assortment of local bands that play in the lounge. Ippy's Restaurant and Lounge, 1760 North Main Street, Rocky Mountain. Jody's Kitchen is brought to you in part by the Harvester Performance Center. World-class entertainment year-round. Harvester Performance Center, downtown Rocky Mount. Visit harvester-music.com. All right, everybody, we are back with our episode with the keto meatballs wrapped in zucchini with ricotta cheese and uh, tomato sauce. 
So now we are going to whip together a salad. And Robert is going to cut up some cucumbers, tomatoes. We're going to put fresh parsley in here. And then I'm going to make a dressing from what I have in my refrigerator because you know how I like to do that. And you're doing the fancy score on the cucumber, so it looks and really I am, good. And I'm going to leave the skin on because the skin is really good for your digestion. Yes. And I think I'll leave the skin on for us. I too. never take the skin off. Okay. I always leave it on. Especially if these, with these cucumbers because they're so nice. Right. All right. So what I'm going to do is I am going to use something uh, that I just learned what this is. And it's a special kind of blue cheese that I'm not going to advertise on the television show. But you may contact me to find out what it is. And it is delicious. So we're going to put that in there. And I'm just going to break it up a tad. And I'm going to put some olive oil. Jody, excuse me, yes, you sir. want me to leave all the ingredients on the cutting board, correct? Sure, yes, and we're just going to put them in here, make it nice and simple. Okay. I'm going to get this into like a paste, sort of, and break it up some. Because this is very, very creamy blue cheese. And if you're going to go to the store, you want to do like a gargonzola or something like that, this is a, this is very, very, very good. All right, so got that all incorporated in there. And it just, you just need a little bit because we're going to use the, the spring mix and the parsley to go with uh, the salad. All right, this is some balsamic vinegar. I'm going to put that in there and get it really mixed up well. There you go. And I don't know if you can see this. We got, we've got the blue cheese into the little chunks like that. And then just a little bit more the olive oil not not too much dressing because remember we don't want to overpower it i'm going to use a little bit of gray poupon probably that's a teaspoon you know i like to measure everything perfectly just kidding all right so i got that all mixed up and then you're going to give it a taste Mm, that's good. Need a little salt. Maybe a touch more olive oil just for the amount of salad that we have. Okay. You want to taste it, Robert? Tell me sure. what you think. Tell me what you think it needs. So what is this again you made? I just put uh, some blue cheese, balsamic vinegar, olive oil, a little bit of salt, and some gray poupon. Okay. Tell me what you think. And a little salt. Mm, a little pepper. Beautiful. No, it's beautiful. No pepper? Really? You like it? Oh, okay. it's beautiful. Yay. Like me. It's beautiful. Yes. <laughs> See, you don't have to overthink the dressing. No. You know, and you don't always have to use, you don't have to go to the store and get store-bought dressing and it's completely keto-friendly and delicious. And, so you made it, and you made it yourself. Yes, and you made it yourself. All right, I'm going to start putting in the vegetables. Okay, I'm, 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 I'm going to let the you. The big vegetables, because the salad's very light. I'm going to let so you So I like do to that. get these all coated. And then I can finish off the parsley for yes. you. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I like to get them coated. I lost my tongs somewhere. I'll wash them. All right, so all of that round, mix around there. And the parsley is going to give it a very fresh, outdoorsy flavor. Oh, you can smell, and smell the parsley, uh, how beautiful it is. Have you ever had soft soup? It's a Middle Eastern Italian I, salad with bitigal and I parsley ha, and I have onion stone. You but, have not? No, but the fragrance of this parsley, yeah. you can smell it. It's like a, it, this is sort of like a, just a little side spin of it. We're going to mix all that up. And this is the advantage of using a fresh parsley versus Definitely. a dried parsley. Mm -hmm. You you would not want to use dried parsley in this. All right. I think that's I think that's pretty good. Is that good? Yep. You sure? Positive. You want me to put it in for you? Yes. Put it in there and we're going to stir it up and taste it and make sure it's okay. And this is definitely I've done a lot of these salads with the spring mix and different kind of lettuces and spinach and you know sometimes I'll use lemon and sometimes I'll use lime but this one is definitely going to be a different taste on it 
and it's going to go really well with our meatball dish. So why don't you give that a taste? Okay. And tell me what you think. Don't even need anything. Beautiful. Not salt? Anything? No, no salt. All right. Well, that's awesome. It's got a, a great flavor and uh, nothing overpowers anything. It's a, a very smooth texture. Great. We're going to put that in there. It'll make your taste buds curl. <laughs> we want them to go crazy, right? Right. All right. Let's pull out our delicious meatballs. Let's see. We got one more towel. Let's see what we have here. Oh, it smells wonderful. Oh, yeah. It's definitely ready. Yummy. And we have we have cover, covered it to try to help steam the zucchini, but not overcook it to where it's just completely mush. And so I'm going to go come out with one of these. And then we're going to taste it. You want to grab us a couple more forks and stuff? Yes. Whoopsie. Would you like a knife also? Probably. Okay. All right, I'll let you get into it first. Okay. You tell me what you think about it. Since you have the guest, I'm going to taste the salad. Okay. I haven't tried that yet. Well, that's good. Now, I like myself, I like the uh, vegetables a little al dente, mm -hmm. which means they're firm to the taste. And I, yeah, that I, held up pretty well. And I think it gives you more flavor. I'm going to cover this just to steam it a little bit more. And you can, I mean, you can cook it longer. I think we cooked it for 20 minutes. What do you think of the creation? Oh, the, the flavors are there. Yeah? Yes. Wonderful. It's got to be hot. And, and you're going to, the aftertaste is what's really nice. So after you chew it and uh, swallow it, then you're going to have a nice aftertaste in your mouth. Mmm. So just let it. Let it sit in your mouth for a while. You did the meatballs are excellent. Well, thank you. And the hot Italian sausage worked well with it. Yes. Definitely. Yes. You could even put uh, Alfredo on this and make it a pink sauce. It'd be very nice. And, and another thing, if, if people, like, um, people, some people don't like real hot, hot, you could use a mild Italian sausage mm -hmm. instead of the hot and just vary it to your own taste. Now, do you think that's hot? Uh, it's a little sp spicy, but it doesn't overtake the flavor of the food. Right. So I, th I liked it. But going, going, going together, I think that's a good nice. combination. Nice. Very and nice. And if for keto, I mean, this is really low in keto. It's definitely something that I would make. You can even make it ahead of time. Yeah. And I'm sure Everybody it looking well. could tell I'm not keto. Well, I mean, <laughs> we're trying to, we might even get Robert on the journey. Yes. I mean, we might even get him to start it. We yeah. haven't really. My, my whole plan, my uh, life plan is I want to be working till I'm 90. I'm 79, and I want to be with this young lady uh, for a long, long time. So that's my plan. So I might start doing a little keto. Every time he tells me that he's 79, which he, you told me last year how old you were, I just don't believe you. Yeah, I am. Because you get around and you work all the time. Well, it's uh, like you uh, do. we were talking earlier, it's all between the years, and uh, I've been blessed with good health and a lot of energy, and I'm, I'm very grateful for that. Definitely. Uh, on, a, on another note, I've had a couple questions brought to me through the restaurant. I'm going to answer them. I was hostessing this past couple weeks, and a couple of people have asked me, how do I know how long to cook things? All I need you to do is make sure you Google how long to cook pork is it safe, how long to cook chicken. I can read off the numbers to you, 165, 145, but you really need either a cheat sheet. Wouldn't you advise that? Or yes. something. Anything that works for you well. Right. Any 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 route that you want to take. Right. Because just like my niece posted um, the chicken that she got from someplace I'm not going to say, and it was raw. Right. I mean, you, you have to know what you're doing. You can't mess around with that there, at all. There's no excuse for, for a restaurant to make ex uh, mistakes like that. Yeah. None whatsoever. Well, actually, it was a store, which okay. is even worse because right. it's huge corporate. Right. But... Um, you, you definitely want to make sure that you cook things and don't over... This is also for not overcooking. Right. 
Because when you overcook chicken or anything like that, it's terrible. Right. And when you undercook it, it's, you know, you're going to go to the hospital. Yeah. But, <laughs> and another thing, we have Ippy's 100 year anniversary. Uh, we're going to do a bunch of things. We have t-shirts out, glasses. We're going to do a big charity event because we're trying to figure out what we can do to make sure everybody is involved in it. So we're going to do a couple fundraisers instead of just like a big party that not everybody can come to. Can I say a little something about it, please? Oh, yes. Go, please. Okay. I, I, uh, she hasn't mentioned, but of this. everybody noticed I work for Sleep Safe Beds. We're a factory out of uh, Bassett, Virginia. And my territory is from Martinsville to Lynchburg. My, my territory. I'm a sales consultant with them. And uh, a few times I've worn Ippy's shirt that uh, Jody donated to me very kindly <laughs> after I did one of their tournaments. And I'll walk into an environment and they'll see my Ippy's shirt and they'll say, are you part of Ippy's? And I'll say no. And I'll tell them that I cater for them once a year and how proud I am to, to be asked to do that. And then they tell me, people in Lynchburg, in Bedford, <laughs> that is the, our favorite restaurant to go to. So not only are they taking He's care so of the sweet. needs of Rocky Mount, but everywhere, and it shows the hard work of Jody and Tommy, her brother, and their staff. I and mean, Sheila too, and the Sheila. mom. So yeah, we have the best staff. So it, it shows, and it's reflected in what people say outside. And I, I just beam when I hear things like that because I'm very close to Jody. I want the best for her and her family. Thank you very much. And thank you for being on the show. You're welcome. And don't forget, Jody Jeans Kitchen on YouTube and hit me up on Facebook, Jody Thomas Jeans. And of course, you can come into Ippy's and try any of our wonderful dishes that are keto friendly and also gluten free and basically any dietary need that you have. So thank you for tuning in. And thank you, Robert. You're welcome. Have a good day. Bye. out better than any of our competitors. Why sell your jewelry at a yard sale? Instead of practically giving it away, why not make the extra cash? Eden Jewelry, 802 Commonwealth Boulevard, Martinsville, Virginia, 276-634-0222. Cataracts. Cataracts can have a way of slowing you down. It's not always apparent right away, but at some point, you realize life doesn't appear as it should. Be sure you catch all of life's moments. Let the physicians at Vistar Eye Center improve your outlook with cataract surgery. Now seeing patients at our new location on Church Street in Martinsville. Trust Vistar Eye Center, where your sight is our vision. Jody's Kitchen is brought to you in part by the Harvester Performance Center. World-class entertainment year-round. Harvester Performance Center, downtown Rocky Mount, visit harvester-music.com. Martinsville First Savings Bank has been serving Martinsville and Henry County since 1924. Feel free to stop by or call for more information on how our checking, savings, money markets, and certificates of deposit can help you meet your financial goals. If you're tired of 800 members or online customer service, please contact us. We are local people making local decisions. Visit our office at 25 West Church Street in Uptown Martinsville or call 638-8771.